Well, welcome to Voices of Women. I'm Chris Danis, your host. I'm also the founder of Women of Wisdom Foundation. We have been putting on these fabulous conferences in Seattle for the past 28 years. And we are now going forward in a, our um, a first online conference in March, March 11th through the 14th. Um, so it's anybody around the world can join us, which is really exciting. Our theme this year is celebrating the spirit of women, united we are one. We have special guests, Terry Tempest Williams and Louisa Teach. So we're very excited about that. You can read all about it at womanofwisdom.org. And today I'm interviewing one of our workshop presenters, Franca Baroni. Dr. Franca Baroni is an award-winning author, actress, intuitive trainer, certified heart math trainer and immigration attorney. She is, um, holds a doctorate and master, master of laws and is admitted to the bar in New York, Washington State and Switzerland. She's the founder of the Public Heart, an organization that offers art entertainment, trainings, consulting and inspirational speaking events to foster conscious leadership, citizenry, citizenry and a, a broadened understanding of governance and law. For over 20 years, she has assisted people to connect to their highest potential, as well as elevate their conflicts to new levels of res resolution. She has an acclaimed one woman show, Act in the Public Heart, A Lawyer's Journey. It's a, her personal story and a call for collective realignment to act activate social change. And uh, I just wanna say that she presented that the Public Heart, A Lawyer's Journey at Woman of Wisdom a few years ago to a standing ovation. It was very, very uh, exciting to have her perform at Woman of Wisdom. And this year, she's gonna give a workshop on Friday afternoon, March 12th, Sensual Citizen Practice of Being Feminine. So welcome, Franca. Well, thank you, Chris. I'm excited to be part of the conference again. Yeah. I have fond memories of two years ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, and um, and I know that it was just a stunning and impactful performance that you gave. Um, you know, for one woman to be on the stage and 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 do all this. Anyway, it was it was really great. So, tell us a little bit about who you are um, and how you came to what you do. Yes, uh, you know, I I like to say that I I like to weave together what our brain likes to keep apart, which is law, heart, art, politics, <laughs> all of that together. And, uh, and obviously my background is in law, but I, you know, early on in my, in my career, I, I was realizing that there was something deeply dysfunctional and missing in the way uh, we were organizing our society and how, politics are working and, and the legal profession. And also for me personally, I, I was feeling like almost like a, a dull hole in my heart. I, 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 you know, was accomplishing all these degrees, but there was always something missing. And until finally I, I discovered, you know, my heart. <laughs> I didn't really have that language back then. No, that has come, uh, you know, in time. And uh, and I went on. A, I went on on a really deep inner journey to explore um, how can we create a, a radically different way of organizing our society that doesn't make us repeat over and over again the same the same patterns obviously in the times we're in these days you know we're seeing how you know the the whispers of 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 a, of past times and how we were we have the potential to create the same drama and harm and and wars and etc but i i i was really excited about uh, back again 20 years ago to to explore how can we make a, a, a difference? And, and in that I explored the importance of the feminine, the role of the feminine in actually redefining uh, politics or citizenry, redefining even law. And, uh, and obviously with that, including the wisdom of our heart and, and body. So that's a bit about me. So I, I you know, I wrote a, a book that that uh, uh, set like a template for society to be moving and, and operating from the heart rather than from the brain. And obviously I did this one woman show. I also teach 
teach workshops and uh, and I, I offer coaching. I, I do a, a, a lot of different things that are really all tied together for me to serve Lady Justice. Uh, to me, Lady Justice, it's a, it's a deeply feminine energy that has just become a picture. <laughs> <laughs> we use uh, for marketing or advertisement, but it's the time really to, to through our feminine, through our being feminine, to really reawaken her and uh, and and embody that energy to create a better society. Yeah, so that's, that's a it's a big mission, and, and we're all we're all wanting to see change, and and so this is. It's kind of helping people, what I'm gathering, helping people on their individual individual journey of what they can do to make societal changes, um, because that's where it begins within in ourselves. And so that's that feminine journey that you're taking people on that you're talking about. Absolutely. It's, it's really about what I'll call it's uh, it's learning uh, to be a leader from the inside out. Right. It's learning in our everyday life. To be to be uh, uh, to be connected to our our deeper purpose of why we're here and 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 make changes in our individual life, but knowing that that has an impact on our collective. Mm -hmm. I I I really say that um, through the what we call public heart, which is you know, which is my organization, is 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 that everything we do how we interact every day within with ourselves with each other and with the world is a political act so it's really time to kind of move out of this disassociated self or there's politics here and then here we have our individual lives mm -hmm. because actually our choices our behaviors the story we're telling ourselves each day uh individually in how we act Really, with us, with our family, with our coworkers, with our with our with our community, uh, have a ripple impact in what I call this this political body um, of our country. So, so and being in feminine is is uh, is something that um, we're also it's still kind of foreign. I don't know, Chris, what your experience is, but I I think like the the word feminine is still a little bit unclear to many, right? It's it's like what what does that mean? So so I I like to explore that uh, in my workshops to to make it more tangible, more real, and more practical in our in our everyday. Yeah, I was just going to ask you about that. Um, I mean, it's inter interesting combination that you're putting together politics and, and the sense of spirituality. In fact, there was a, there was a book one time I had people at Unity Church that came and spoke. Um, I think their book was called Spiritual Politics. And so we, we compartmentalize so much. And actually, you know, if we, like you said, weave things together, um, but being a citizen through the feminine lens, um, it's an interesting concept of, of really well and I take it to be like really owning our feminine nature our the traits we have that are so important to elevate in our society because we're so much in a patriarchal society, culture exactly we have been in this patriarchal system and obviously that system includes women and men as we know and 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 now it's in in this more you know, I was if we are really called to include the feminine to redefine I don't even want to call it to create a feminine system because we need an integration obviously of the male and the feminine but we're so out of balance and in the patriarchy we're all focused on the brain on the head and we're 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 actually creating institutions that are reflective of the the brain right the right and wrong good and bad uh, the attachment to our stories the the survival uh, and there's really a limited frame of creativity in this in this brain, unless it is connected to our heart and, and our body. And that is really what being feminine means. And I think as women, we have uh, more, more easy access to, to our body, to the wisdom and inner guidance, that inner compass that uh, is 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 residing within us, and I like to 
include the heart with that, but also our 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 intimate zone, our, our yoni, uh, because our our sexuality and sensuality are are also um, a great guidance system that puts us. In, in touch with our deep desires, with our purpose, and also with an incredible life force, a juiciness that, that we are needing to, to, to really water this, this dry patriarchal political system. And so I like to approach that also in my, in my work to how do we reactivate our bodies, because I think a lot of women, our, our, our body goes dormant, uh, mm -hmm. or, or we have never really explored the power that um, our, our sexuality, our sensuality, and again, this is not related to, to sex, it's really related to our inner sensuality and sexuality, and, mm -hmm. and, and the ability to, to perceive pleasure, the ability of perceive what, what really lit us up our passion and then we can that has a ripple effect in in our political body because our 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 politicians you know are simply a reflection of the consciousness of the collective whether we like it or not and i know in these times it's very something very hard to hear but uh this is something that you know has been has been obviously evolving for a long time of where we have come these days. I want also to mention, you know, the heart, you know, what is the role of the heart um, in being feminine uh, or, or how does the heart and feminine relate to each other? Um, I think the, to me, the heart, and, and this is something I will be sharing, you know, has really some fascinating qualities because our, our heart is is uh, is not just a pump. I mean, it is a pump, you know, and gives us life force, but it also has its own brain. And, and it's a much, and actually this is uh, scientifically proven that the heart has brain cells, um, and neural cells, and has its own specific memory. And I think it's really important for us to, uh, women to learn to tap into that hard intelligence into the hard brain to to guide us uh, every moment every day in with the choices we're making and uh and uh and so that's another power of of the heart and then the heart also is an antenna you know we have it has this produces an electromagnetic field that is a hundred times stronger than the field of the brain and so we're walking around as everyone, men, women, all of us uh, with, this, with this powerful electromagnetic field that transmits information actually into the field of our collective 24 seven. Mm -hmm. And so for us to become aware of that powerhouse we're sitting on and that is really that leadership that comes from within. And so my passion is really for us to activate that and, um, and so the feminine plays a, a big role in that in that collective activation. Yeah. It, yeah, that that yeah, I love what you're what you're talking about. I, I had a question, but I think you've already kind of addressed it. That you know how feminine leadership would be different than what we have today in our country. Um, we don't necessarily know how what how how that works or how you know, how it shows up or what we have to do to be in feminine leadership. But there are, there are characteristics, there are traits, you know, the inclusivity, um, valuing everyone's voices of, of cutting down those 12 inches from your head to your heart, all yeah. those attributes. I, I know I interviewed somebody before and I can't remember the name of the book, but uh, she talks about the third brain really being our, our pelvic region. And that's what you're addressing too. Of there's a lot of power there, and there's a voice there too, just like in the heart. And we we tend to live waist up, you know, and we tend to live uh, or leave our bodies, and and uh, you know the other, um, yeah, just sort of be out there floating around and and not being grounded in our, in our bodies and the in the full aspect of that. And that's something you're talking about too. Absolutely, that is essential. Is our ability to actually come down into our body and be in our body that activates that full power. And you have uh, 
really accurately be stated that often we're not in our body, we're all over the place. And so having specific techniques on how to come back really inside deeply into our into our body, which is this gift physiology is super important. And what you said also about, you know, how the feminine can show up, you know, in leadership, you know, I, I think one of the deep important characteristics of the feminine is the ability to be in the unknown. Mm-hmm. And, and that one, you know, I even just, you know, for our women, the, you know, the, the feminine beings, I'm going to call that, that are choosing even to be in informal politics, right? Bringing in the quality of and the courage to be in the unknown and to hold that. Because even now, this day in politics, we're, we're, we're noticing, you know, it's great. There's more and more women that are involved and, you know, and in positions of power. And there's a level there's still operating from the same patriarchal system of perpetuating the stories, right? So we have to have the courage of entering that place of no story where likely there's not only a point of connection to those that think differently, uh, but also solutions that again, our brain has not even the ability to access. And so that's my invitation for our feminine leadership and to learn into be the essential citizen, feminine citizen, is to bring that quality of also relaxing the stories and really opening the space for. Yeah. I, I love that in and opening the space. It's it's also that place of of um, sort of that unknowing that the potential is there. You know that of of. Of, of, of a stillness where you can allow the creativity come forward too um, for problem solving. And I mean, that's what politics you know, often, you know, has to do. But I think with the, the feminine is to, it's, it's about process versus product. Um, Jean Houston, who's been at WOW several times talks about that. The feminine is about the process and honoring the process, which is that allowing yourself to be open and uh, be in the unknown and be explorers, you know, of what, what's possible here between, you know, we've got two different ideas here going on and yet somewhere in the middle there, and it's not, I'm not talking about compromise, it's creating something new. Absolutely, absolutely. It's that third space that gets created, even just on a physiological level, when two or more come together, right? The, the electromagnetic field all generated by the heart, uh, you know, brings together, when to come together, it creates a third field. And that third field has a lot of information in it. I call, you know, this is hard intelligence, is the intuition, is wisdom that even goes beyond time and space. And I've had too many times experiences where, you know, this is real. I mean, this is real. And it actually shows us uh, solutions and openings that we have not been aware of. And we are desperately needing that in these times we're in. And also another quality, you know, which I love about, for example, being in the heart, right? It's, I, I will also speak in my program about, you know, coherence. Coherence is a really important word because it's, it's, uh, it's when our body, it's, it's, it's basically, um, determined by the heart. I mean, the heart, you know, has either a coherent rhythm or not. And, and, uh, and a state of coherence is, uh, is generated by our emotions. Uh, if we have r- renewing positive emotions, our body will go physiologically in a state of coherence, which is a highly efficient physiological state where we're not wasting any energy. You know, and as, as, as you know, and a lot of Noah's feminine being, you know, often we deal with fatigue and exhaustion, right? And, and, and it feels overwhelming. So if we learn to, to use the technology of the heart also to enter a highly efficient state where that no energy is wasted, our efficiency, our, 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 the level of our impact will also be increased. And, uh, and there's something we can come into a place of coherence with somebody else by just simply feeling certain emotions. And this is all scientifically proven. So we don't have to 
have the same belief system. We don't have to believe the same, you know, stories. We can still create connection by simply tapping into our heart. So we, we, we even leave out the whole gigantic distract, distraction of different political system. And now obviously in the time we're in, this is so much you know, amplified where we have completely different notions of reality and we don't even know what is true, what is not. And, there's, and this is all a product of being in our head. And so if we mm -hmm. learn to access feminines, uh, the feminine quality of being a citizen, we bypass that, 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 that distracting game of belief system. And um, so, or we certainly have the potential to do so to get us to much more effective and efficient results. So, and making the journey also more, more pleasurable. <laughs> Yeah, and, and coming from the heart, it's where you, you make the connection and you make you find the commonalities if you really, um, you know, because if you're caught in the mind, you're, you're just battling words. But if you're connecting with the heart, you're, you're finding the things that are important to you are often the same for every people. Absolutely. You know, so, um, and then it's just how that works out. Is <laughs> everybody has different ideas of how that works out. But if you can start with the common the connections between people. So um, I, I like to ask the presenters how your workshop fits in with the theme of celebrating spirit of women united we are one. And so um, particularly celebrating the spirit of women and how you see that, you know, uh, our, our reason to celebrate. So, well, obviously I, I feel the, the our incredible potential and power of being feminine is a great reason to celebrate. Uh, and uh, it, it's really when we honor and and uh, deeply and, and, and really enjoy and savor us being feminine, I mean that that raises us into the into the energy of celebration. And I I I I I feel every day in my life, I have so much gratitude to be in this body that is, is truly a, a miracle. I mean, it's, it's such a, a sophisticated um, and brilliant uh, technology and gift. And, and, and so that's to me how the, the, my, my topic really fits in and obviously united we are one. I mean, that's like, I, I think it was just so perfect because in this time of deep division, mm -hmm. I, our ability to tap into our feminine wisdom and feminine leadership that comes from within really allows us to realize the, the oneness, the, the unity within our own being, unity of heart, brain, body, sensuality, sexuality, uh, politics. We create this union within ourselves. And by embodying that, we are actions and our behaviors and attitudes to the outside world will reflect that. And we, we, we create the experience of connection uh with us as as being and then i want to include also the masculine beings with that right in the tapping into their feminine into their feminine side and uh, uh because obviously this is this is way beyond gender this is right like, yes so I, I know that you will be um having experiences and tips on how women can create this sensual citizen tap into that central citizen power that you're talking about and, and connecting um, with our hearts and, and bringing it into our whole full physicality. So I just encourage people to, to check out um, Franca's workshop. You can uh, read about it uh, and all the offerings we have at the conference at womanwisdom.org. And Franca, um, please give your website where people can find out more about what you're doing. Yes, my website is publicheart.org and I have several programs coming up and uh, I uh, and I'm I'm really yes excited to be at the Women of Wisdom conference always an amazing group of, of women of wisdom of passion and courage and curiosity 
and uh, and uh, and yes, I will. I will promise you to give this this exper experience of being of being amped up in your role as a citizen in your feminine body. <laughs> That's great. Well, thanks for being on the show today, Franca. Thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate it. Okay, and this is Christina. So I'm the host at Voices of Women, and I am in, in the process of interviewing all our presenters, and you can find them all on my YouTube channel and also on our website with everybody's workshops.